Hi there, welcome back to Clearwater Chronicles where we talk about all things pool so you can spend more time enjoying it and less time working on it. Today we're checking out the Ybot C1 Robotic Pool Cleaner. I've already reviewed the C2 Vision by Ybot on an earlier video, but this upgraded 2025 version of the C1 holds its ground, especially when you break it down category by category. So let's go through some of the key features and I'm gonna rate each one on a scale of one to 10 based on how it performed in my pool. And if you notice, there's a lot in this pool for it to clean. We had a good rain last night and my dogs jump in here all the time and that is actually dog hair on the bottom of that drain. So we're gonna check back and see if it actually gets to that or not. You see it's climbing the wall right now and doing that water line. It's actually doing a pretty good job on a water line. For something you would consider a budget cleaner, this is actually doing a fairly thorough job on the water line. I did set this to the full pool mode, the standard mode, which is where I set all pool cleaners when I first start them off. Look at all that water displacement on the surface. That's just an indicator of how much water is being moved through this thing. The Ybot C1 has a battery life or runtime of between 120 and 150 minutes, and it runs pretty true to that within about 10 minutes from my experience. So for battery life or runtime, I'm gonna give this an eight out of 10. It's pretty good, especially for a cleaner in the budget category. So far, the C1 has handled the floor, the walls, the water line, and even the stairs without fail. It uses triple motors and dual PVC brushes that grip well and clean evenly every single time I've used it. It hasn't gotten stuck yet, and it hasn't missed any major areas. Compared to the C2, the coverage has been about the same. The C2 seems to hold a slight advantage when it comes to tight corners and odd spaces, but the overall result is very close. So for cleaning effectiveness, the C1 gets another eight out of 10. Now for suction power, the Ybot C1 has an upgraded independent water pump motor, and Ybot claims that it delivers twice the suction of older models. And I believe it because so far it seems to be doing a really good job picking up most of what it comes in contact with. However, when we're comparing it in a direct side-by-side -side with the C2, I'd have to give the C2 a slight advantage in sheer power, especially when it comes to dealing with larger debris. So our suction power rating is another eight out of 10. This cleaner uses Smart 3.0 navigation system, which runs an S pattern on the floors and an N pattern on the walls. You can also connect it to the app where you can set schedules and switch between modes and also customize the shape of your pool. The navigation is effective and it didn't get stuck one time during testing. That being said, the C2 Vision's camera navigation is more advanced, it's more customizable, and it offers you a lot more flexibility in the way of navigation. And it was a little better around tight edges and corners. So the navigation rating on the C1, an 8.5 out of 10. And in the last category, we have the warranty. Ybot advertises a 24 month limited warranty with lifetime tech support. And that sounds great on the surface, but let's talk a little bit about that. Here's some things you should know. After the first 30 days, you may have to cover shipping for any kind of warranty replacement. Not all parts are covered equally. Sometimes chargers and accessories have shorter warranty protections. And it's not a full two year replacement warranty like you've seen with some of the other brands that I feature on this channel, like the iGarden K series, which offers a much simpler replacement process. My overall warranty rating is 6.5 out of 10. Not terrible, but not the best. Just know what you're getting in coverage before you buy. So here's how I rated the Ybot C1. For battery runtime, we have an eight out of 10. For cleaning effectiveness, we have an eight out of 10. For suction power, we also have an eight out of 10. For navigation, we step up to an 8.5 out of 10. And for warranty, we have a 6.5 out of 10. When we take all five of those scores and add them up, we have a 39 divided by five, we're at an overall score of 7.8. So my final analysis of the C1 is if you're looking for a cleaner that covers your entire pool, has great run time, good suction power, and decent navigation, then the C1 is worth taking a look at for sure. If warranty coverage is something you're worried about, you may wanna consider brands that offer full two-year coverage replacement warranty right out of the gate. We've done a few other cleaners on the channel where we didn't use the rating system, including the C2. But from here on out, I'll be using this same rating system 
with every cleaner. If you want to know how I'd rate those other cleaners in this same system, then just drop me a comment below and I'll be glad to tell you how I think the others stack up in this same rating system. And if you like this kind of content where we talk about water clarity and chemistry tips, the latest pool gear and unbiased pool tech reviews, then hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching Clearwater Chronicles and I'll see you in the next one.